Okay, so this short video is about graphing the boundary of a domain. And what we're looking to do here is to apply some of the things that we got from functions of several variables in order to do this. So let's suppose that I have this function. It's g of x, y equals 2 times the natural log of negative 4x squared plus 2y. And so what I want to do is I want to think to myself, well, I'm going to look here and I'm going to say, is there, are there any restrictions upon that function there? Okay, it's a natural log. And so what we know is that with a natural log, okay, whatever's in there has to be greater than or equal to zero. So we get negative 4x squared plus 2y is going to be greater than or equal to zero. Right? That's actually going to be not greater than or equal to, excuse me, just strictly greater than because it's, it's the natural log. So strictly greater than zero. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, if I do that, I can make this 2y is greater than 4x squared, right, just by adding 4x squared to both sides, and then I'm going to get y is greater than, in this case, by dividing by 2, y is greater than 2x squared, okay? And so that's a function. I mean, it's actually an inequality, um, but it's a functional inequality. So what we can do is we can go in and we can actually draw this graph. Right, draw the graph. So next up, we're going to go draw the graph of y equals 2x squared. And since I've got the greater than sign, if you remember, that's actually going to mean that I utilize um, like a dotted line. Okay, I'm going to use a dotted line because it's not actually equal to, so we're not going to say that, the, that we can actually have the function equal to. So we're going to need this dotted line. And it's 2x squared, so if I go um, x is 1, that's going to be up to, right? And this is just going to then help me draw my graph. All right, using that dotted line, okay? Because what we've got there is we've got the strictly greater than. All right, so we drew y equals x squared, okay, with the dotted line. And now what I need to do is I need to actually graph in or to, to shade in which values that that is this gonna work with, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test a point outside of the graph. It's two dimensional, so all you have is you have an inside and you had an outside of a graph. This is just one of those things where sometimes I get a little confused or a little mixed up with, right? Is it a greater than or is it a less than? I can't really remember, um, like inside, outside. So I just pick a point. I'm gonna pick the point, um, let's do, one, negative one. So I'm gonna pick one, negative one, okay? And then I'm gonna plug this in here, and that's gonna be then, is negative one greater than two times one squared? Or negative one greater than two, right? So like we're asking, is this the question? Because if it is, then I'm gonna be shading on that side. If it's not, I'll shade otherwise on the other side. The answer is no. So that means that I'm not gonna shade on the side with uh, one negative one, I'll shade on the other side, the inside of that function, okay? And there it is. That's the boundary of the domain of G, okay? We make a distinction, we figure out, okay, what are the restrictions on this function here, the function that's G of X, Y, okay? Then we basically set up an inequality or we set up a you know some kind of equation that actually expresses that, uh, that uh, restriction, all right? And what it'll do is it's gonna give us a, a function of some sort. That function, we're gonna to have to go graph that function. Don't forget, do you have a dotted line? Do you have a not have a dotted line? Okay, that's important. And then we'll test a point to figure out whether or not we're gonna go inside of the graph or we're gonna go outside of the graph. And that's what we're looking to do when we're graphing the boundary of a domain. 